Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for being here. With your help and support, we're able to succeed in our mission to make mental health and psychology more accessible to everyone. So thank you. Now, let's continue. Did you know that depression can occur in varying degrees from mild to moderate to severe? In this video, we'll be focusing specifically on some of the signs and symptoms of severe depression. As always, we want to remind you that this is for educational purposes only and not meant to diagnose or to invalidate an individual experience not included on the list. If you do believe that you're suffering from severe depression, we encourage you to seek the help of a mental health professional. With that said, here are six signs of severe depression. Number one, daily stomach pain. Do you wake up most days with a sinking feeling in your stomach? Is it painful? and does the pain make it difficult for you to function? Many conditions and illnesses can also cause this, but severe depression might be your culprit. According to Healthline, research has shown that depression has strong links to inflammation of the digestive system. Not only does this mean that severe depression makes you more prone to stomach cramps and nausea, but also to bloating and other digestive problems. If you can relate to this, we encourage you to seek the help of a medical professional to relieve your pain. Number two. Your life feels like it's on pause. Do you have a hard time getting things done throughout the day? Not just work, but also things like getting up to brush your teeth or to take a shower. Though some may perceive this as laziness, it might actually be a sign of severe depression. Healthline also explains that fatigue is a common sign of severe depression, and it can feel like no amount of sleep is ever enough for you to get your normal energy back. Your worth is not measured by how much you get done in a day or your productivity level. Even if all you had the energy for was to take out the trash and feed the dog, you're doing what you need at your own pace. Number three, there is a growing apathy towards your goals. Are you someone who usually dreams big? Have those dreams recently seemed less appealing or more out of grasp? Apathy is a symptom of severe depression that is often overlooked because it can manifest as contentment. But when a nonchalant attitude becomes an indifference to goals that used to mean a lot to you, it may be something worth paying attention to as it's a sign of severe depression. Number four, mental breakdowns. Do you find yourself overreacting to things that would usually be only mildly annoying? Are you prone to mental breakdowns every now and again? According to the New Dimensions Day Treatment Center, a mental breakdown is a combination of severe depression and anxiety and can manifest in a variety of ways. They might show up as panic attacks, rumination, helplessness, and much more. For a more comprehensive list of what a mental breakdown could look like, please feel free to visit the link in our references. If you find yourself in the middle of a mental breakdown, remember that you aren't alone. Though it may feel insurmountable, know that help is available and that you are fully capable of getting through this. Number five, noticeable behavioral symptoms. Have your friends told you that you don't seem yourself lately? One of the characteristics of severe depression is that many behavioral symptoms are noticeable by others. In fact, the symptoms themselves may be indicative of a milder form of depression, but the way it impacts your life could classify the depression as severe. Some of these symptoms could include fatigue, irritability, anger, substance abuse, reckless behavior, and more. However, like all of these signs, this is not a hard and fast rule. All experiences with depression are equally valid. And this is not to say that severity is solely dependent on the observations of people around you. Though no one may notice, you could still be suffering in silence with severe depression. And we don't want to take anything away from your experience. We just want to point out that severe depression is more likely to be noticeable than other forms. And number six, hallucinations or delusions. Do you experience out-of-body experiences due to your depression, such as hallucinations or delusions? This is known as depressive psychosis and can, in some cases, result from major depression. Examples of this can be hallucinations, paranoia, or delusions that interfere with your everyday life. If you find yourself experiencing psychosis, know that help is available and that seeking help is encouraged because altered perceptions of reality could impact your well-being in harmful ways. We hope this helped you learn about some of the signs of severe depression. Could you relate to any of the signs in the video? If you can relate, remember that you're not alone help is out there and we encourage you to seek professional help to aid in your recovery please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too the studies and references used are listed in the description below
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.